Imagine a sport so addictive it's been banned, blamed for crimes, and even considered a threat to national security. Yes, we are talking about golf. But the history of golf is mysterious. Who really invented it? And why was it banned? This video takes us on a journey through the history of golf, exploring its disputed beginnings, the evolution of the game, and the role Scotland played in shaping modern golf as we know it today. Let's delve into the intriguing stories, unexpected turns, and lesser-known facts that make golf a global phenomenon. Let's dive in. Golf, often hailed as the gentleman's game, has a rich and controversial history that dates back centuries. Though commonly associated with Scotland, the origins of golf are shrouded in mystery, with influences from various cultures, including the Dutch. But where did the sport of golf really originate? The old course at St. Andrews is often referred to as the home of golf, a title that reflects its deep-rooted history and iconic status in the sport. This legendary course, located in St. Andrews, Scotland, has been a site of golf since the early 15th century, making it one of the oldest courses in the world. But is this really where the history of golf began? Let's find out. The Origins of Golf – A Controversial Beginning the origins of golf are shrouded in controversy and mystery, with various claims to its invention. While Scotland is widely recognized as the birthplace of the modern game, evidence suggests that a similar sport was played elsewhere much earlier. In 1260, the Council of Brussels banned a game called Kolf, believed to be a precursor to golf, indicating that the Dutch may have been early adopters of the sport. Similarly, the Chinese have records of a game called Chuan, involving clubs and balls, dating back to the Song Dynasty, 960 to 1279. However, Scotland's documentation, such as King James II's 1457 edict banning golf to encourage archery practice, provides the earliest clear references to a golf-like game. This edict, along with subsequent bans, highlights the sport's controversial nature as it was seen as a distraction from more militaristic pursuits. Despite these disputes over its origins, what is clear is that golf's evolution into the modern sport we know today owes much to Scotland's influence, particularly through the development of standardized rules and the establishment of iconic courses like St. Andrews. Golf's murky past, crime and punishment. While golf is now seen as a genteel sport, its past is not without controversy and crime. In the early days, the game was associated with public disturbances and even violence. One of the most shocking incidents occurred in 1650 in Fort Orange, near modern-day Albany, New York. Dutch settlers, playing a version of golf called Kolf, ended up in a deadly altercation after a round. The dispute arose over a tally of strokes and led to a fight in a tavern resulting in a double murder. This incident highlights how the competitive nature of the game, combined with alcohol, could escalate into serious conflict. Golf also faced legal challenges and societal pushback. In medieval Scotland, golf was repeatedly banned by royal edicts. King James II, in 1457, prohibited golf because it distracted soldiers from practicing archery, a vital skill for national defense. These bans were reiterated by subsequent kings, indicating the game was widely played despite being illegal. The authorities viewed golf as a frivolous and unproductive pastime, especially compared to archery, which was crucial for military readiness. This perspective was not unique to Scotland. In the Netherlands, playing kolf in the streets was banned because it caused damage to property and endangered passersby. These instances of crime and punishment in golf's history reveal a less idyllic side of the sport. They also underscore how golf, like many other games, has had to navigate societal norms and legal restrictions. Over time, the sport has shed much of its controversial past, evolving into a globally respected and professional game. However, the stories of its early days remind us that even seemingly serene pastimes can have turbulent beginnings. Scotland's Claim to Golf Fame Scotland is often celebrated as the home of golf, a title richly deserved given its pivotal role in the development and popularization of the sport. While the origins of golf may be debated, Scotland's contribution to the game's evolution is undeniable. 
The country boasts the oldest golf courses in the world, with records of the game being played on St. Andrew's links as early as the 15th century. The Scottish influence extends beyond mere geography. It encompasses the formalization of rules and the cultural integration of golf into everyday life. One of the earliest recorded mentions of golf in Scotland is found in a 1457 edict by King James II, who banned the game because it was distracting men from practicing archery, essential for national defense. This royal decree highlights the widespread popularity of golf in Scotland even during medieval times. The Scots developed distinct playing styles, equipment, and rules that laid the groundwork for modern golf. The game's terminology has also deep Scottish roots, with words like caddy and lynx originating in the country. And moreover, Scotland has been home to some of the most prestigious golf tournaments and clubs. The Royal and Ancient Golf Club at St Andrews, founded in 1754, became a central governing body, standardizing the rules that many golf clubs worldwide follow today. The Open Championship, first held in 1860, is the oldest major tournament and has been played on Scottish soil numerous times, further cementing Scotland's claim to golf fame. In essence, Scotland didn't just popularize golf, it shaped the sport's identity and culture, making it an integral part of the nation's heritage. The evolution of the game, from street to course. Golf's journey from a rudimentary pastime to a highly organized sport is a fascinating tale of evolution. In its earliest forms, golf was played in the streets and open fields, often without any formal rules or designated courses. This street-style golf was chaotic and unregulated, sometimes even leading to public disturbances and legal issues. For instance, the game of Kolf, played in the Netherlands, involved hitting a ball towards a target and was notorious for causing property damage and endangering pedestrians. Such street games laid the groundwork for what would become modern golf, albeit in a far more structured and refined form. The transition from street to course began in earnest in Scotland, where the concept of designated playing areas started to take shape. By the 16th century, the first recorded golf courses were being established, notably the old course at St. Andrews. These courses provided a controlled environment where players could hone their skills, and the game could be enjoyed without disrupting the public. This shift also allowed for the standardization of rules and equipment, making the game more accessible and enjoyable for a broader audience. The development of courses also introduced the concept of course management, including the maintenance of fairways, greens, and hazards, adding layers of strategy to the game. The evolution continued as the sport spread globally, with courses adapting to different landscapes and climates. The establishment of golf clubs and societies further formalized the sport, providing a social and competitive framework. By the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the construction of golf courses became an art form, with architects like Alistair McKenzie and Donald Ross designing courses that are still celebrated today. This evolution from street games to meticulously designed courses transformed golf into a sophisticated sport, rich in tradition and strategy. St. Andrews, the birthplace of modern golf. St. Andrews, often dubbed the Mecca of golf, holds a special place in the history of the sport as the birthplace of modern golf. Located on the east coast of Scotland, this historic town is home to the Old Course, which has been a central figure in the development of golf since the 15th century. The Old Course at St. Andrews is not just one of the oldest courses in the world, it is also the site where many aspects of the modern game were first standardized. The significance of St. Andrews in golf history is immense. It was here that the first set of written rules was established by the Honorable Company of Edinburgh Golfers in 1744, providing a foundational framework for the sport. These rules were later refined and adopted by the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrews, founded in 1754, which became one of the most influential governing bodies in golf. The Royal and Ancient, or RNA, played a crucial role in standardizing the game from the number of holes on a course to the specifications for equipment. 
One of the most notable contributions of St. Andrews to golf is the 18-hole course layout, which has become the standard for golf courses worldwide. Originally, the old course had 22 holes, but this was reduced to 18 in the mid-18th century, setting a precedent followed by golf courses globally. The course itself, with its iconic Swilcan Bridge and famous Hell Bunker, is a living museum of golf, where players can experience the game's history firsthand. St. Andrews has also been a regular venue for the Open Championship, one of golf's most prestigious tournaments, further solidifying its status as a cornerstone of the sport. The town and its courses embody the spirit and tradition of golf, attracting enthusiasts from around the world who come to play, watch, and immerse themselves in the rich tapestry of golf's history. Golf's Global Expansion and Cultural Impact Golf's journey from a niche pastime in Scotland to a global sport is a testament to its universal appeal and adaptability. The game's spread was significantly aided by the British Empire, with golf courses springing up in colonies and trading posts worldwide. From the lush landscapes of India to the rugged terrains of Australia and the Americas, golf found a home across diverse environments. This expansion wasn't merely geographical, it brought about cultural integration and exchange. In Japan, for instance, golf became a symbol of business and social status, while in the United States, it evolved into both a leisure activity and a professional sport with a massive following. The cultural impact of golf is profound. It has influenced fashion, with iconic attire like polo shirts and plaid trousers becoming mainstream. The sport has also made its mark on language and popular culture, with terms like par for the course and in the rough entering everyday vocabulary. Moreover, golf has been a platform for significant social change, breaking down racial and gender barriers as seen in the achievements of figures like Tiger Woods and Annika Sorenstam. The global expansion of golf continues to shape its cultural relevance, making it a sport that transcends borders and unites diverse communities. The Unique Language of Golf Golf boasts a unique and colorful lexicon that reflects the sport's rich history and traditions. This language not only describes the game's elements, but also adds to its cultural charm. Terms like birdie, eagle, and bogey are used to describe scores relative to par, each with its origin story. Birdie, for example, is said to have originated in the early 20th century, when a player described a good shot as a bird of a shot. Eagle naturally followed as a superior term, and bogey evolved from an old British slang term for a difficult task. The course itself is also described in unique terms. Fairway, rough, green, and bunker are all specific areas with distinct characteristics that influence gameplay. Even the equipment has its own vocabulary, with clubs like driver, iron, and putter, each serving a particular function. The term caddy refers to a person who carries a player's clubs and offers strategic advice originating from the French word cadet, meaning a younger son or officer in training. This specialized language enriches the game, making it accessible and engaging for enthusiasts and newcomers alike. It creates a shared understanding among players and fans, fostering a sense of community. The unique language of golf is more than just jargon, it is a living testament to the sport's storied past and evolving future, encapsulating its nuances and complexities in a way that enhances the overall experience. The Future of Golf – Challenges and Opportunities The future of golf is a landscape filled with both challenges and exciting opportunities. One of the primary challenges is maintaining and growing participation, particularly among younger generations. The traditional image of golf as a slow-paced, expensive sport can be a barrier to entry for many. To address this, there is a growing movement to make the game more accessible and inclusive, such as through shorter, more casual formats like nine-hole rounds and par-3 courses, which require less time and skill commitment. Environmental concerns also pose a significant challenge, as golf courses require substantial water and land resources. The industry is increasingly adopting sustainable practices, including water conservation techniques, eco-friendly turf management, and wildlife habitat preservation, 
to ensure that the sport can thrive without causing environmental harm. These efforts not only make golf more sustainable, but also align it with broader societal values around environmental stewardship. On the opportunity side, technology is transforming how the game is played and consumed. Innovations like virtual reality golf simulators, GPS-enabled course maps, and advanced analytics are enhancing the player experience and attracting tech-savvy audiences. Additionally, the rise of professional golf tours in emerging markets such as Asia and Latin America is expanding the sport's global reach and diversifying its fan base. The origins of golf are as complex and fascinating as the game itself, from its controversial beginnings in the Netherlands to its refinement in Scotland. Golf has evolved into a beloved global sport. The early history of golf is filled with unexpected twists, from royal edicts banning the game to tragic events like the double murder in Fort Orange. It's incredible to think that a game once considered a threat to public order is now played by millions worldwide. What makes golf so captivating? Is it the challenge, the history, or perhaps a sense of connection to the past every time we step onto a course? Whatever the reason, golf's rich history and deep roots continue to draw enthusiasts from all walks of life.